It is your time. It is your moment. Go take it. The Hokies set a standard of excellence they no longer appear capable of meeting, but they might have one more big year left under Frank Beamer. The program that won at least 10 games each year from 2004 to 2011 is just 19 and 13 against FBS teams the last three seasons, but one of those wins was against Ohio State last year in Columbus. Here's the deal with the 2015 Hokies. As usual in Blacksburg, any hope for a rebound rests on the defense. Tech has a killer of a D in place with a wealth of talent at every level, led by Kel Kendall Fuller corner and a line flush with playmakers. The defense, though, must continue compensating for an offense that needs to run better and has to hope for quarterback Michael Brewer to stop giving the ball away. But even with all the inconsistencies and issues on offense, the defense picked up the slack more often than not. The Hokies finished fourth in the nation in third down conversion D, allowing teams to convert just 28.8% of their chances on D. So now the defense has to be special again, and the offense has to be far tighter with the ball. So is there enough in the bag to make a little bit of magic? The Hokies should be at least favored in six games, and they're good enough to beat teams like North Carolina, Boston College, and NC State. But even though eight wins might seem disappointing, these aren't your older brother Hokies anymore. So even with Ohio State on the schedule to start the season and without a run of more than two home games in a row, this still has the potential to be an eight-win team. I'm Pete Futak, and to dive deeper in the 2015 Hokies, check out the full written preview on Campus Insiders.